Okay, so this is what we're used to doing. We're used to this um, fashion. We're used to this um, stroke pattern. And shading is very, is quite a different, um, it's quite a different animal in terms of the actual technique that we use. So let's clean that off. I'm just using some regular cooking oil here. And you'll see we have those nice, clean, crisp, strokes. Now we can use this to shade but it's not an ideal tool for shading and the reason that it's not ideal is that it's very skinny. So I'm going to pop that aside and I'm going to show you the standard shading technique. I'm going to show you that with the 21 round shader this is a nice big configuration. Um, we're going to get quite a lot of resistance from the skin with this one. So we know that we're not going to be kind of poking holes in the skin by accident. Um, and it gives good coverage as well for shading work. So once our tool is in, and you'll see how easy that was for me to switch from a standard blade into this circular style with these hand tools. They're, they're brilliant, I love them. So again, we're looking at having a small amount of pigment. And we are pushing and tapping into the skin. It's almost like a, a tap and a flick. I'll wipe away so that you can see. You can see how we can create that shading effect. So let's look at that again. We are pushing into the skin gently and we're using a flicking motion. So we're kind of doing this push and flick, push and flick, push and flick. push and flick and you'll see that I'm flicking because we've got these little bits of pigment which are kind of flicking up and around as I work and so you'll see here again the shading that we've created using our manual tool so this is the kind of speed that we would work in the skin we would work much quicker pushing and flicking. And this is what enables us if we then layer in certain areas. we can create more density in some areas than in others for an ombre effect. And so you can see how we would go on to add this into our existing microblading eyebrow patterns or how we can use this as a standalone method for creating beautiful shaded brows without needing to use the machine.